Hi guys, another video in the quest free. Before this gets returned, I'm actually going to cover just a few standalone games, not cherry picking. I'm not going to be influencing you to, to buy this headset or buy any particular game. I'm just going to show what I've got installed at the moment um, and the performance metrics. So the OVR metrics are provided from Oculus. This isn't a dodgy app that's sideloaded and killing performance. Um, my battery level is at 82%. And the FPS here you can read, and the FPS graph on the side here. Um, I've already mentioned that performance in the home environment is just pretty poor. To be honest, it's pretty low resolution still. It's the baseline 1680 by 1759, which is the new target for Quest 3. And uh, it occasionally drops frames. So that's not me having a moan. That's not my battery level. Um, so, yeah. And it's not the recording settings as well. I need to cover that because the recording settings. I'm not taking a piss with the uh, recording settings either. This is all default, so image stabilization is off, the aspect, aspect ratio is the normal square 1024 by 1024, not the higher resolutions, and frame rate's not changed, so this shouldn't be extra taxing load on the headset. Display refresh rate 120 hertz. Again, this doesn't change all of your apps. 120 developers need to make use of the 120 hertz mode. And the first one I want to cover in relation to this is standalone Beat Saber on the Quest 3. So I don't know who started this off. Um, 120 hertz on Beat Saber just doesn't exist. It's 90 hertz. Um, I don't know what happens for people to sort of say this. Uh, there's nothing in the game for me to change it to 120 hertz. There's absolutely no no sense at all. So you get what you get basically. They, there is a resolution of 2016 by 2112. It looks perfectly fine, um, and it plays perfectly fine as well. If I go into just a quick, quick game here, I can ignore the stealth frame drops as I load in. That is pretty typical on Saber, um, regardless of standalone or even on PC. But you can see that the re um, refresh rate has not changed as I'm in game. But what has changed is the resolution has now gone down to that baseline target of 1680 by 1759. And this audio is still loud, sorry guys. Yeah, 1680 by 1759 on the resolution. So um, it's a little teaser basically. You, your menu looks really sharp, but as soon as you go into game, it drops down again. Um, so we're not near sort of Red Matter 2 sort of resolutions pushing here, just even in Beat Saber. Um, and we're at 90 FPS. So I don't know whether they fully tuned uh, Beat Saber for the Quest Freeze yet, but I would imagine you can squeeze more out of this because I would, I would love to see 120 hertz mode is technically should have the power to do that now with the claims of the uh, 2x performance increase. So Beat Saber, whether that is or not tuned for the question, no. Um, if I go into the next title here, which is Racket NX, which is a game that I play across all of my standalone headsets, which is Quest 2, this Quest 3, the Pico Neo Freelink, Pico 4. I can show this is going to have the same issue I had on the Pico headsets, as in the game itself hasn't been updated. I think the 1680 by 1760 is going to be the baseline target for developers, or why it automatically upscales Quest 2 games too. Um, and if I just get into the arcade here, my issue isn't so much that the developers not worked on this as yet. I'm not attacking that developer at all. I love this game, but on Quest 3, um, with whatever what we're upscaling they've done because there's been no other changes it is still nice and i'm going to give it a second so it's loaded in to not count these uh fps drops i can still see a jitter in my movement and this is obviously without the recording and without the um overlay up on screen i don't know if it's going to come across the recording I, I can't imagine it coming across the recording but when i do my hand smoothly like this it should be one smooth movement but you actually get a a jolt going across Whereas obviously uh, visually dropping those frames. So frame rate counter is not stable. A few stale, drain, uh, stale frame drops here. There's nothing really loading on the headset to tack, uh, tax a headset enough to cause this. You can see the CPU and GPU level are practically sleeping mid, 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 midway up the level 5. Um, so a le level 3 CPU and level 2 GPU. So the developer can absolutely push this headset further. Um, I think it's just relying on the auto changes to make quest 2 games uh, appear and sort of display right on the quest 3 um, you are getting a little bump in your resolution compared to quest 2 but this isn't as much as what the quest 3 can do and right now 
it's got the same problem as the Pico headsets did from uh, coming from Pico New Free Link to a Pico 4. It was a higher resolution panel headset. Um, it wasn't automatically doing the games like it does on this Quest 3, but the problem was the performance. So the, the, the smooth movement you had before where the game was made for that Pico New Free Link, it wouldn't be as smooth on the Pico 4. So it's exactly the same problem I've got here with the Quest 3. This is super smooth on Quest 2, but I'm seeing not a ghost in, I'm seeing just a, a jitter, a break in the uh, the animation as I do my hands, and I'm seeing that on Quest 3. So it's it's just giving it time. I, I wouldn't honestly recommend buying this headset right now, um, especially if it's sort of enticed by that free offer of Asgard Raft that's not even out yet. So um, there's nothing immediately right now if you were on the, on the fence upgrading from a Quest 2 to jump into this headset and buy. I would highly recommend this, um, not my one personally because it's faulty, but I would highly recommend this headset if you're coming from a Quest 2, um, but it's not a necessary upgrade. I mean, all the games you got on Quest 2 are still going to play great. This headset's going to be fantastic once the developers make use of the extra ha ha um, horsepower in this, in this hardware. So, yeah, it's one of those things. Um, I'm not having a moan at the Quest 3, I'm not trying to bash it. Um, it gives me enough reason to be pissed off using it because, again, I, it's entirely personal to me with other headsets and what I like to use as a, as a user interface and features that just work. Um, yeah, there's many things that annoy me on this headset, but I can't deny that the horsepower it's got is going to be fantastic once it gets used. That's the, that's the, the catch here, is once they actually start using it. So, right now, um, I don't really have any other game i mean i bought red matter 2 i refunded that because i thought this headset was going back today that's annoying i could have checked that out but again i've got red matter 2 on my picos and the, uh, well checked out the quest 2 and seen that the latest update was automatically changing the resolution as you play the game as well so it's really hard to get any comparison points between a pico and a, a quest headset but that is a game that is obviously pushing this hardware to the max and it's going to look fantastic. I'm gutted I didn't get to check it out before I refunded it. So, yeah, right now, I wouldn't advise buying this headset. I would wait until some of the stuff has been cleaned up. Um, how quick that happens with Meta is going to be probably a week, two weeks maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, there's just many things you obviously just need to be aware of if you are buying this, hoping that it's going to be the immediate um, punch of an upgrade um, coming from a Quest 2. The resolution, the panels um, themselves are really good. The lenses are absolutely fantastic. Um, but it doesn't mean all of these games are suddenly two times the performance, two times as good. Um, that's not how it works. So give the developers time. Don't make claims that 120 hertz feels so smooth when quite clearly it's not 120 hertz. That's just completely misleading to new, new customers, new consumers. So yeah, until games actually make use of it and if other sort of people that are claiming that everything looks great and how good it is because a recording will always look fantastic show your metrics i'm so annoyed with people claiming everything's great and it's not just quest um influences it's the same when it happened on picos show your metrics put your money where your mouth is and show that it's running smooth and show that it's running good because again there's been cases with pico that when it came out they were saying it's so smooth it's, it's much better resolution it was exactly the same resolution as the new three which is the same as a quest 2 um, and it is running at 72 hertz and not 90. So, yeah, you need to put your money where your mouth is, use these metrics, and uh, just show people that how things are running. Because for me right now, I'm not um, I'm not amazed as much as I should be. And I said this the same with the Pico 4. I'm not amazed as much as I should be. The software needs to catch up. Um, this headset's just been pushed out the door early. There's many, many bugs. Um, that's going to be a, a hell of a long video if I go into all of them. But it's pushed out early. There is no absolute desire to run out and grab it right now. Um, it's not going anywhere. The software updates are always going to make it better. But right now, there isn't these claims of every game being amazing and um, performing well on Quest 3. Um, there's just some random performance issues. This, again, you can try replicate it. It might not happen. Um, it just comes up. <laughs> it's like uh, bracket and X, the smoothness and the motion. It should be really smooth, but even in this home environment, especially with this mirror, you get the style frame drops, and it's not a consistent 90. So 
for me, I'm super, super sensitive to this. That is why I'm relaying it, because I don't know if whether people are just expecting it to be two times as good, two times as powerful, and operate exactly like that, like the ex expectation right now. Um, yeah, I'm going off on a rant here. When the side quest guys and the uh, Team Beef guys and all of the VR ports and stuff come to this, I'm absolutely using this headset because they're going to do absolutely fantastic work on it. So, yeah, I'm not bashing it, but that is what it is. Cheers, guys.